Hey everyone, it's Mark from Top Homeowner, and in today's video, I have a special review for you. This is the brand new Video Smart Lock from Eufy Security. So we're gonna talk about the different features it includes, which is a ton. We're also gonna go through the installation process, and we're gonna figure out if this is a good solution for you and your house. All right, but first a couple of disclaimers I need to get out of the way. One, Eufy did send me this unit for review, but with all my review videos, my number one priority is to make sure you have accurate and complete information so you can make a decision that's right for you. Another thing you should know is the app that I'm using is in beta right now, which just means it's a little bit buggy, and we had a little bit of difficulty getting some of the features to work really smoothly, but by the time this comes out to market and is able to be purchased, all those kinks should be worked out. As far as features are concerned, this video smart lock has a ton of them. So I'm only gonna talk about the highlights here, but I will include a slide that has a lot more specifications. So feel free to pause the video here. But first up, let's talk about the camera. The camera is a 2K camera, which is double the quality of a standard full definition camera or a 1080p camera, which is really nice because it gives you that extra clarity that you're not gonna see from other competing brands. And it's basically what's been coming out from all the UFI security products lately, which is a really nice feature to see here. It also includes infrared lighting, so that way you can see any activity that's happening at night. And with that camera, you can also have a two-way conversation with someone that's at your front door, especially once they ring the doorbell. And yes, it has a built-in doorbell. So if you've been looking for a solution to have a video doorbell, you can actually just have this as your smart lock and have the video doorbell built into it or vice versa. The other thing that this has is the ability to unlock your door because it is a video door lock. And you can do that through either the touchpad, which you can register multiple profiles with for different family members. So you can kind of keep track on who's coming and going in your house. Anytime uh, code is entered into the touchpad, you'll get a push notification on your phone and it lets you know who's been able to access your house. Also, this is a great feature if you have infrequent people accessing your house, like a neighbor or a house sitter or something like that, you can issue a code to that person and see when they're using their specific code to come into your home. And you can even change the schedule to allow those codes to work at certain times of the day or even certain days of the week. So you have a lot of flexibility here. Now, probably the coolest feature of this thing is the fingerprint scanner. Now, this thing is amazingly fast. I was really surprised at how fast this is to unlock and lock the door. And like with the security codes themselves, you can have all the same features, uh, the notifications as to who's accessing different fingerprints registered for different people. And uh, you can even lock and unlock the door with just a tap of your finger. So that's a really great feature. And uh, it's one that's gonna come in really handy for us. As far as what's included with the video door lock, not only do you have the video door lock itself, but you also have an included chime. Now this chime acts as a wireless bridge between the video door lock and your Wi-Fi network. So you'll need to make sure that you have this in a spot that can get communications to both your router and the door itself. The other important thing about this chime is it is actually a chime. So anytime someone presses the doorbell, the chime will play through the speaker. And you can even have the chime play different sounds depending on what your needs are. The Chime includes a plug adapter, and in my case, since I live in the United States, I have a US-based plug adapter that just screws into the back of the Chime. Once you plug it in, you'll go through a quick setup process to connect it to your Wi-Fi network. And once that's set up, that will let you connect to the video smart lock. Another feature the Chime has is a micro SD slot, and this will let you record videos from the video doorbell into this SD card. They also include a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, which can be charged with a USB-C cable. And while Eufy doesn't include the charge brick itself, you can just use pretty much any charge brick for any of your smart devices like your cell phone, or you can even plug it into your computer to charge the battery. The battery has a built-in indicator that lets you know when it's charging, uh, LED will light up red, and when it's fully charged, it will light blue. Other things included are the hardware packs to be able to install this in your house, and we'll get to that here in a second. They've also included a couple of keys so that way you can unlock the door manually. So it also gives you that peace of mind if your battery happens to die and you need to be able to get into your house, you can still pull out a key and unlock it. As far as installing this is concerned, it's actually a really simple process, especially if you've installed any kind of door hardware before. Basically, all you have to do is remove your old deadbolt and install this in its place. Now, in my case, I'm removing an old smart deadbolt, so it might look a little bit different than yours, but nonetheless, the process is gonna be about the same. First, you'll need to remove a couple of screws to get the inside hardware off of the door, and then you'll need to remove the additional hardware in order to get the outside lock off, as well as a couple of screws to remove the latch. Once your old hardware is removed, then you can start installing the new hardware from Eufy. Basically, what you'll want to do is first install the latch from Eufy. And depending on how inset your deadbolt is, you can actually adjust the latch to accommodate it. So it's pretty much just like any other deadbolt. Once you have the door latch installed, then you'll just need to run the cables from the smart lock exterior assembly through the door. And then you'll attach the back plate in order to hold everything together. 
Once that's screwed in place, then you'll just need to connect the cables to the SmartLock interior assembly. And then screw that in place to finish the installation. Then just install the battery and put the battery cover on and you're ready to get it set up. Now, once you've reached this point, then you'll just need to get it set up in the app itself. And that's a really straightforward and easy process too, because all you have to do is show the QR code that the application has on the screen of your smartphone to the video door lock itself, and it will take care of all the registration for you. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. Once that's set up, you can go through and customize it to your needs. You can change the different settings for the video recording. You can set up access codes. You can register different fingerprints and you can even change the chime through the app. Now, as far as overall impressions are concerned, I have to say Yuffie's done a really good job with this. I mean, if you're looking for a smart device that helps you, you know, control and be able to access your house through a touchpad or a fingerprint scanner, uh, this is a great solution for that. It also has that 2K built-in security camera. So if you're looking for a security camera, this is also a great solution. And, you know, last but not least, if you're looking for a video doorbell, uh, if you're looking at having all these things, I mean, you can have everything in this one unit. So this is a really great solution, especially if you're looking at purchasing one thing that kind of does it all, and this does. Now I have to say, the only downside that we found to this is that if you have a storm door on your front door, it will block the video camera. Now, uh, this is just something to be aware of. If you have a storm door, like I said, if you don't have one, you're not gonna have this issue at all. But as you can see here, uh, the storm door in our case blocks the camera at least partially and you don't get a full view until the door is open. And this is to be expected because a storm door is, actually has a frame and it's going to cover up part of your door handle and it's going to cover up uh, you know, where the deadbolt is. Now it's certainly not going to be an issue for everyone, but if you do have a storm door, that is something to consider. Now, with that said, would I recommend this product? Yes, absolutely, 100% I would recommend this product for you. Um, if you're looking at integrating some smart technology into your home or replacing some older technology. So if you're interested in picking one of these up, I'll have a link in the description below where you can go and click on that and check this out at its current price. Otherwise, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, please don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one.